crikey. It's a bit cold. Hi, um, I'm Tanya. I've just been out walking the dog and it is absolutely freezing out there tonight. Um, do you know, and that's got me thinking, I wonder if we're going to have a white Christmas this year. That's better. I've got myself a nice warm cup of tea and that's taking the chills away. So, did you know we haven't had a white Christmas in the UK since 2010? It was absolutely immense. I remember people weren't going to work, people couldn't get the cars out of the drive. I don't think I got in my car for over two weeks. Now, the one thing I did do whilst it was snowed in was make the best snowman ever. So here he is, my wonderful snowman. He was almost two metres tall with his top hat on. And whilst he lasted a couple of days and was absolutely brilliant to see him in the back garden, it would have been lovely if he could have lasted a little bit longer. So how do you stop a snowman from melting? So here are some ideas about what might help to stop our snowman from melting. Now, the first child is holding a blue coat and he says it will keep him cold and stop him from melting. The child with a purple hat says, don't put the coat on the snowman, it will melt him. And the child with the green jumper on says, I don't think this coat will make any difference. Which one do you think's right? Now, our challenge today is going to be to try and find out if adding a coat or a jacket or a material to our ice snowman will stop him from melting. So for this activity, you're going to need to do a little bit of preparation the night before. You're going to need a balloon. I've got a white one here because I'm going to make a snowman out of it. It doesn't need to be white, it really doesn't matter. And an elastic band. You're going to fill the balloon with water and then once it's full, you pop it into the freezer overnight and then it'll be ready for doing your investigation. So here's how you fill the balloons with water. You might need to get an adult's help with you for this one. So you stretch the balloon over the tap, make sure you hold on to that tight and turn the tap on very, very gently and watch as the balloon fills. You need to get a reasonable size balloon, sort of big enough to hold in your hand. Once you've got it to the right size, turn the tap off, slowly take the balloon off the tap and tie a knot in, trapping the water inside. Okay, so here we have our water balloon. Now, what you could do is just place this straight into the freezer. Absolutely fine to do that, but I'm going to try and make it into a little snowman shape to make it, look a little, look, make it look a little bit more festive. So I'm going to take the balloon and I'm going to nip it in the middle and just give it a bit of a twist so it separates into two parts there. And then with an elastic band, I'm going to fasten that round the middle. Oh, it's a bit wobbly, this one. I'm going to wrap it around several times just so that it doesn't slip off. I think that'll do. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you see. Now we've got the two parts. What I'm going to do now is to pop this into the freezer for about 24 hours and then take it out and then we're ready to do our investigation. So here's the ice snowman that I prepared earlier. You can see he's got quite a nice shape to him. So for this investigation, we're wanting to try and find out which materials are going to be best at stopping our snowman from melting. So here I've got a selection of materials. We've got a cardboard. I've made this into a kind of tube so I can pop my snowman inside, a bit like a, a jacket. Um, here we've got some expanded polystyrene. I've done exactly the same here. And last but not least, we've got bits of tinfoil. Now you might have bubble wrap, you might have some packaging that you've, you've got um, that's been delivered in a parcel, or maybe even an old sock that you might want to wrap around your snowman. So at the start of this investigation, you need to first of all remove the balloon so you've just got a block of ice. What I'd like you to do after that is to then weigh that block of ice to find out what mass it is. Now you can use a pair of um, kitchen scales to, in order to do this. Make a note of the mass of the ice at the start of this investigation. Then pop your snowman inside the, the little jacket that you've made or the, the tinfoil that you've wrapped it in and leave it for say an hour. You're going to need to pop it into a bowl or a container so that any water that does mel melt off is collected in that, in that dish and doesn't go everywhere. After an hour, I'd like you to weigh the snowman again and see how it's decreased, how the mass of that snowman has decreased and that will tell us how much water has actually melted. 
You might want to create a table of results to record your findings and help you explore the data that you collect to find out which material would really help stop the snowman from melting. I hope you enjoy finding out which material is best at stopping the snowman from melting. And who knows, if we have a white Christmas this year, you might even be able to use what you found out to make your snowman last as long as possible.